In this video, we're going to show you how to create your first tenant in the Landlord Max Cloud Edition. We're going to build from the previous YouTube video, which was called How to Enter in Your First Building. So with that in mind, we're going to start at the same place. We've just logged in and we're at the dashboard. So to get to the tenants, you click on People and Companies. And the first item will be Tenants. Here you'll be presented with a list of tenants that you have. In this case, I don't have any tenants because it's a new database. Um, but if I did, I could filter in by the name. So if I wanted to find John Smith, I could just type in John Smith here. And only Johns would appear since I typed in John. I can put in a city. So only people, say, in Los Angeles would appear. Uh, I can also decide which columns I want to display. So in this case, uh, I can say I want to show the country. Maybe I don't want to show the address. So I can remove that. I can, I can decide exactly what I want. I can sort by clicking on the top. Right now it's sorted by name. You can see by the triangle. Um, and I can do all that stuff. In any case, at this point, we're going to go and create our new tenant. So I'm going to click on New. And here's where we can pick the type of tenant. Uh, we have Residential and Commercial. And depending on the type that you pick, you'll be presented with different fields and different subpanels. And we're going to quickly go over that shortly. So in this case, I'm going to create a new Residential. I'll click OK. And I'm presented with a screen with the information. So I can type in every field is optional. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to start typing in John Smith. And now I can select a building. I can select a single residence building or a multi-unit building. Uh, whichever building I select, it will automatically uh, pre-populate all the fields here. And if it's a multi-unit building, the unit field will be available. So I'm going to select Wellbeing Apartments. And I'm going to select Unit 1A. And you'll see that the address is all pre-filled and everything's entered in nicely for me. Uh, in this case, there's no zip code, but that's because I didn't enter it in the building. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to enter some information for the tenant, so such as his phone number. I can enter in an email, uh, a date of birth. In this case, I'm going to change the tenant to current. Uh, potential means that this is the tenant looking to rent the property, but they haven't yet rented. Current means that this tenant is residing in the property right now. Now, this is a little bit different than leases, and I'm not going to get into that right now. That's going to be a different video. Uh, leases are, gener are used to generate rent rolls and, and other reports. Um, but to know who's actually living in the property right now, we're going to use the status. So I'm going to click Current, and I'm going to click Save. So once I've saved, you get back to the data view, and you see all the information has been saved. If I scroll down, this is all the different uh, subsections for the tenant. So I can see the accounting entries for the tenant. If I click on the plus, I'll get a table of accounting entries. At this point, since it's a new tenant, there's no accounting entries. Uh, I can get into contacts for a tenant, uh, documents, checks, so lease agreements under documents, employers. Um, for a commercial tenant, obviously you wouldn't get employers, you get different items, different items. Uh, we've got events, invoices, leases, and so on. And I can keep going down. We've got pictures, um, everything else, uh, work orders, anything that's related to that tenant. And when I print, click on print, I would get the full report of that tenant. And I can modify that. That's customizable, but we won't get into that. Uh, in any case, at this point, you've now just created your first tenant in Landlord Max.